Hi, I'm Lisa Gorell from Applied Genealogy Institute with a new tip. Did your ancestor own land? How can you find that out? Well, let's see some records that give you that clue. Many of the census records have a column showing the value of real estate, like this one from 1860. Later censuses show might show whether the property is owned or rented, such as in this 1920 census, where the O means the farm is owned and the M means that it is mortgaged. A non-mortgaged property might show an F, meaning that it is free and clear. For the years 1850 through 1880, if your ancestor was a farmer, he may have appeared in an agricultural schedule. Here, if he owned the land, it would show the number of acres and the value of the land. Tax records often show the value of real and personal property. Here we see that E.W. Lancaster owned several plots of land, while A.A. A. Laurel was only taxed on personal property. If your ancestor appears at the same address over many years in a city directory, that may point to home ownership. Renters tended to move more often. Flat maps show owners of land in farming communities. And your first realization that your own ancestor owned land might be found in a newspaper search. Often newspapers listed the real estate transfers. Once you find indication that your ancestor owned land, then the next step is to locate the actual recording of the land deeds. In my next tip, I'll discuss locating deeds at FamilySearch Catalog. Thank you for listening.